Once your software has been downloaded, simply double click on the icon to run the installation software. Then you simply follow the on-screen instructions. If you wish to put any personalizing information in, you can do that. You always want to install the USB driver, then click install. Once your cold link software has been installed, open and run the software. The first thing you'll want to do is set up the software for use at your company. To do that, click on the tools menu and choose options. At this point, you can add your company name, whether you wish to view temperature data in Fahrenheit or Celsius, where on your computer you wish to save temperature data, and Coldlink software will choose an appropriate default location you don't need to change, and then whether you wish to have the software in English or Spanish. Additionally, you have a choice of whether you prefer military time or American AM PM style and the format in which you wish to display the date. Once you have made these choices, click Save. Cargo Data's digital temperature recorders are equipped with either a 9-pin or serial connector or a conventional USB 2.0 mini connector. If the recorder that you intend to download has a 9-pin or serial connector, you may insert it to the serial connector on the back of your computer. If your computer is not equipped with a serial connector, you can contact Cargo Data to request a USB connection kit cord, which has a 9-pin connector on one end and a basic USB connector on the other. This will simplify the connection of your recorder to your computer. If you don't already have the USB Mini 2.0 type cord, you can also contact Cargo Data for that style cord, which looks like this. Once the recorder has been connected, click the Download button in the upper left corner of the Cold Link software. The screen will now give you a status update showing how, how quickly the data is being downloaded and you will then receive a downloading success message. At this point, you can now enter vital shipment data for this shipment. If, for example, you wish to enter the name of the shipper, you can enter that name, ABC Shippers. If you anticipate receiving shipments from this shipper in the future, click on the plus button, which will add that name to the database and will provide you with that option in the future without in an effort to reduce keystrokes. This option exists for all of these other fields as well. You can add commodity, destination, PO number, any of these can be added to your database to reduce keystrokes in the future. You can skip or enter data in any of these fields at any time. When you're finished, simply click on the Save button. This is now asking you if you wish to overwrite data for this recorder which was previously saved. You can choose yes or no. And you are now being advised that the data from this recorder is being uploaded to Cargo Data's free uplink server, which allows the data to be shared with any interested party simply by entering the six-digit temperature recorder ID number into the uplink field on Cargo Data's homepage. CodeLink will now display a dashboard overview of all of the recorded data from the recorder we downloaded. The summary of the recorded time, data points, high and low temperatures, the mean temperature are shown. 
We then see how many days the recorder was running. In this case, one day, 16 hours, 17 minutes, and 17 seconds. The actual days that it was in use. And the time in and out of a pre-selected range, which in this case was 33 to 39 degrees. That same range is visually identified by this lightly shaded yellow area. The pie chart in the center of this combination screen, the green area indicates the time that the shipment was within range, which was 83.77% of the time. The red portion of the pie chart indicates the time that the shipment was warmer or over the intended range. Please also note that there is a statement about when the cool down ends. Cargo data recorders are programmed with a two hour period for the trailer or the shipping container to cool down to reach its intended temperature. All of the low, high, and other average temperature reports are based on the readings taken after the cool down period ends. You also have a summary for each day, the high, low, and mean temperature. And then on the right side we have a report that includes how many hours the shipment was at each given temperature. CodeLink software also provides you with other options in which to view the report. We have a chart only screen, a summary screen which provides the pie graph information in greater detail, the combination screen, and the tabular screen which provides a date stamped record of each and every temperature sample taken during the recorded period. Other features include a Fahrenheit and Celsius selector. This indicates that right now the chart is displayed in Fahrenheit. To switch to Celsius, simply click on that button one time and it will convert to Celsius. Click again to return Fahrenheit. If you wish to print your report, simply click on the print button. If you wish to send this report as an email, click on the send button. And then we have a unique feature here that will display data that was collected from your digital temperature recorder after the stop button was pressed. That data is displayed in a dotted line. This is helpful in some issues when a person involved in a transaction might have inadvertently pressed the stop button. To hide that data, simply press that same button one more time. The CodeLink software provides you with the ability to zoom in on any point on the temperature chart for greater detail. In order to do that, simply move your cursor to a particular point that you would like more information about, and then hold the button, click button down, and then slide your mouse to one side. You will now have a detailed view of that portion of the chart. At any time you can move your cursor to hold it over a particular point on the chart and that will display the exact time and date and temperature at that point of the chart. To return to the full view click on the show all button. CodeLink software is designed to archive all temperature data that has been downloaded from your temperature recorders into an ongoing archive file. You can view all historical reports and create re the reports by clicking on the View Data Create Report button. Here you will see a list of all the temperature recorders that have been downloaded into this computer's version of CodeLink software. At any time, you can click on any one of these numbers to view a full report for that recorder. But CodeLink also gives you the opportunity to sort and create reports for recorders by using each of these selectable criteria. 
When you first connected your recorder, you had the opportunity to enter the shipping location, the commodity, all those other searchable criteria. And you can use this report to search for specific records and to sort them and print them and to email them as desired. In other words, you have full customizable reporting capability. CodeLink software makes it easy for you to share data with colleagues, customers, truck brokers, whoever might be involved in a transaction. If you click on the file menu, you will see you have the opportunity to save the temperature data as a PDF, and then you have a choice of which report, the chart, summary, tabular, or all types. You can also save the data file. Now Cargo Data's CodeLink software has a unique file format .cdo and you can email this file in CDO format uh, to another person and as long as they have cold link saved on or installed on their computer they will be able to open that file and view it just like has, has been displayed here. The data can also be saved in CSV format which stands for comma separated values which is a common format used by Microsoft Excel and other spreadsheet programs. It can also be saved as a bitmap file, which is a, a graphic file. In short, CodeLink allows you to save the data in any number of ways. In the event you require any technical support with your CodeLink software, I encourage you to click on the Help menu there is also a troubleshooting guide available for you there, including troubleshooting regarding downloading temperature recorders and installation of the software. For special instructions about downloading Express handheld units into CargoData's CodeLink software, please consult the CargoData website where there is a specialized video about Express. As always, feel free to contact the CargoData office on the telephone at 800-338-8134 or you can email us at information at cargodatacorp.com. Thank you for watching.